All right. Are you guys ready for these matches? Yes. Let's do this. I know how to light it. You know, know how to light it? Always strike away from yourself and always close the box. Thanks. We're gonna strike our match and we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna start, we wanna make sure that there's lots of room for air to come through. Welcome to Trackers, a camp where on the first day kids get to play with matches. And as the flame comes up, can I have these? It's a camp we're for kids who are a little different. Most have been homeschooled in Portland. On next. So it's flaming and we're gonna put that on. So go, go forth and construct your fire style. I think the philosophy of Trackers, it's about giving children opportunities to learn about themselves in a healthy and real way, where it's not this contrived, very, very, very safe environment. While these kids grow up more isolated than their public school peers, camps like Trackers try to make up for it by teaching wilderness skills. Meet Morgan. Here's Nick. Make sure to protect the match, protect the match. And this is Shayla. So I'm gonna make some kind of torch and I'm gonna go and ask someone if I could get a little bit of their fire to add to my fire. I think with fire, it's kind of a neat thing to do for the first day because it, it captures their imagination. All of a sudden, you've got these eyes lit up and they're all bright and excited and they're like, I just made this fire and I did it safely and I can do this. I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be put out really good. build one shelter that you don't all have to be able to fit into it, but maybe a shelter that one person can fit in and that you could sleep in if you needed to. So you're going to need to have it be rainproof. It's raining. So we need to make it quick, right? What else? We want to keep warm, right? So what is a way that we can make the shelter keep us warm? A fire. A fire. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to build fires out here. <coughs> <laughs> it's funny, building a shelter is one of those things that kids already do. They already know how to do it. And they always call it like building a fort. It's like, oh, let's just build a fort together. Carry it with me. Okay. Of course, along the way, the kids get distracted from their goal. The instructors finally get them back to the task at hand, building a shelter that offers protection from the elements. You know what? If you scrunch up some of this moss, yeah. and then um, yes. if the crack's too big, you can like stuff it in there and it'll stay. Nice. I like that idea. And it's good warming also. You guys are big enough. Today the kids are learning how to make a bow drill, a drill that can make fire even when you don't have matches, the ultimate survival skill. This drill will be made from only natural materials. One of those materials is this, a stinging nettle. Who is ready to harvest a stinging nettle with their bare hand? You guys ready for this? <laughs> no. You sure don't have to. I warned them, I was like, hey, it's gonna hurt, but you still get to make that choice about grabbing that stinging nettle. Nick strips away the nettle leaves so he can use the stem to make string for his bow drill. Yeah, definitely. Okay, this is too small. Come on. So Hikaru and Arena? I know you can't. Okay, miss this one. So bend it against your finger. Like Peel it off, right? You see that little flip? Yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna crush it flat. So you're going to peel it all the way out. Of it and, uh, it so it's like that. and that is what you want. To finish the bow drills in time, the kids will need to work on them at home. 
These homeschooled kids are used to exotic activities. When they're not making fire, you can find them trying many other adventures from kung fu to rock climbing. And Nick even flies gliders. Pattern is clear. So while they miss the social network of public school kids, their unusual menu of extracurricular activities helps them to soar. Back in the camp, the moment of truth arrives. Can they make fire using a bow drill the way real wild children might have done in the past? Bring your body where mine was. You want to get the spindle in here, and it should be tight. And try not to put too much weight on it at first. Right. I'm going to let go here and just try to hold it there for a second. Now, really slowly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen a lot at first, but then you'll get it. Yeah. Turns out it's hard. We're gonna, we're gonna swing that. Really hard. Failure is okay. It is okay. As long as it's done in a really supportive, loving environment and there's been lots of successes, failure is where you create some of the greatest learning moments. Let them have those experiences because that's where they learn and they become these like amazing adults that are like, if I skin my knee, I don't care because I'm tough. There you go. That was the most strokes you got. I'll get it sooner or later. Yeah, yeah. The Tracker's homeschool course is ending. Oh, turn to head back! For Morgan, Shayla, and Nick, school is not about report cards and recess, but about exploring the world at their own pace. Yep. Oh, welcome, everyone, to this class's first Rangers Guild badge ceremony. I just want to <coughs> say thank you for everyone that's here today. Nick, uh, today you learned, earn your level one fire making badge and your level one wood carving badge. Today, Shayla earns her level one wood carving badge and your level one fire making badge. Congratulations, Shayla. More again, you earn your level one wood carving badge and your level one fire making badge. Congratulations.